Welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a BoxyCharm unboxing and revealing. And I know it's the end of the month. It's the last day of the month. And I'm getting this video out super, super late. But it's not my fault. I received my box so late this month. There was a month prior that I did receive it a little later than usual. But it was definitely not as late as this month. This month has been the latest I've ever received my box. And I was almost afraid that I wasn't going to get it or even get the original box but thank god the original box came so I can only be thankful for that. I seriously almost cancelled my subscription. I told myself be patient and wait till the box got here to see what I got and depending upon if I had the original box or the new box that they put together for the people who could not get the original was going to determine whether or not I kept the subscription. So. Glad I didn't cancel right off the bat. But there are products in here that I do love and I do like. And then you have products that are just not it for me. So we do have some hits and misses in this box. I hope you guys enjoy the video. This is my second time filming this because I did not like the way the first video came out. I did my base already. I have my foundation, my concealer, my setting powder, and I also have eyeshadow on this go around. And I will get to why I did my eyeshadow off camera in a little bit when I get to a certain product. But we're going to start off with mascara. The mascara that came in this box is called the Manna Carta Beauty Blooming Volumizing Mascara. And this mascara is supposed to deliver an intense lengthening and volumizing effect to your lashes. It says that it's cruelty free formula, has a built in primer and makes sure it grabs those hard to reach lashes. The round tips work to ensure an easy application without leaving any clumps behind. And this mascara does retail for $29. Now, my first impression of this mascara is that it was not nothing like crazy. I wasn't crazy about it. I didn't really like it. Uh, the lengthening is there. I do like the fact that when you're putting the mascara on, if you were to apply mascara like I do with a really close-up mirror, you can tell that it coats each and every lash individually. It does not clump it up, so I do give the mascara that, but to me it doesn't do anything crazy to my lashes and it doesn't look like very like wow so i am going to apply this mascara to my eyelashes so you guys can kind of see what i'm talking about but this is definitely not a mascara that i would wear by itself i would either pair it up with a different mascara in the original tutorial that i did i did end up going in with the Too Faced mascara only because i know that the Too Faced product was put in the revamped box or um extra box that they gave out for those they didn't have the original box for so i did use that to these two this one and that one together in the original tutorial but in this tutorial i'm just going to stick to this one and then i will probably pop on false lashes just because i know i'm not crazy about this but i do want to give you guys the opportunity to see what it looks like on my eyes so I'm not sure if you guys can tell or not but this is the eye that i applied the mascara to on my top lash I mean it's a little different obviously you could tell I have mascara on but it's not anything like super crazy you know when I want to put mascara on my lashes I really want for it to make a big difference not a subtle difference so I will use this like as a mascara to put on before I put on my false lashes because I to me it really does not matter to me what mascara I use just as long as it's good enough to use and I feel like this is okay to use so I would definitely use this before falsies, but I would definitely not use this as a mascara to wear by itself. Also, I do want to mention when you open the bottle and you take the wand out, it looks like it has some kind of fibers in here, which is not weird, but it does look like little eyelashes, but I know they're not eyelashes. But I did want to mention that, so I'm assuming the fibers in here is what's supposed to help lengthen your lashes. I mean, there's a little bit of length, but... Like I said, still nothing really crazy to me. I did apply my favorite lashes and I did put the mascara on my bottom lash line. But as you can see, they didn't do anything special to them. These are my favorite lashes. They are dramatic, but the mascara, as you can tell, it's not so bold. And I would probably wear a much more bolder mascara at the bottom with such dramatic lashes. This next product is the reason why I didn't do my eyeshadow this time around. 
on camera it is the cover fx palette and i absolutely could not wait to get this palette but then when i got it i wasn't super crazy about it i use this on my eyes and i use the blush shade and one of the highlighter shades uh the blush as like my crease color and then the highlighter on my lid but when i went to go take this makeup look off or not this one but that makeup look off that day my eyes were super irritated and it was both my eyes i've been having trouble with this lid a little like dry patches but both eyes were red and irritated so i assumed it was from using this on my eyelids so i'm not going to do that today clearly but that's the reason why and it has um two highlighters one brightener one finishing powder a blush and a contour shade so um I used everything except the finishing powder and everything was super pigmented and really nice. However, I did not use the finishing powder because again, it just doesn't seem like a powder that I would use as a finishing powder. I don't know. It says that this is a six must have complexion essentials and one travel friendly palette. It has a talk free formula that provides seamless blending and flawless application. You can sculpt with the contour, blush it up, and illuminate with two shimmering highlighters. Find your perfect finish with the brightening and finishing powders for a glowing, multi-dimensional look anywhere and everywhere you go. And this palette retails for $45, and honestly, I've never seen this in Sephora or Ulta, for that matter. So this is my first time seeing this Cover FX palette in this BoxyCharm box. So I am going to take this contour shade right here, which is called Shadow. Now, I have never powdered contour before the first time of me doing this video, and this stuff is pretty strong and intense, so I'm gonna take this Flawless Crease Brush from e.l.f. because it seems like real fluffy but soft, softer than my Morphe brush, and I'm gonna try and blend this in in my contour areas and see how that goes this time around. Did you just see how pigmented and I was lightly feathering that on that this powder is. So I'm just gonna kind of carve out kind of like where I want it. Again, I've never cream contoured with the powder, so I mean, that made no sense. I never powdered contoured. I've always used a cream, so I think the best method for me is just carve it out as if I was using a cream and then blend it in. So I do want to take this Equal Tools brush, it's a defined brush, nothing on it, and just kind of blend it out a little bit more. So if there's anything that I learned with doing it the first time around is that you have to be super light handed when applying it to your face because like I said it goes on super pigmented and it's not too hard to blend out but if you put way too much then it's the more you put on the harder it is to blend out. Let's just say that. This month's box came with two brushes. This well they're both moda brushes this is supposed to be like a powder brush this is supposed to be like a highlight brush i really did love this brush it's really soft and it works like a dream but i didn't use this for powder because i already set like my under eyes and my face and stuff like that prior to this starting the video so i am gonna use bronze with it and i used it for bronzer last time and i really liked it so i'm just gonna dip into my favorite bronzer and just bronze my face this brush and it just flows so nicely on the skin so a little bit about those brushes they are motor brushes like I said a powder and soft glow kit is what the two brushes together are called it's a two-piece powder and soft glow kit it's, it's supposed to be the ultimate dynamic duo the two brushes were designed to give your desired look. The elegant rose gold tapered handles and two-tone synthetic brush hairs make this brush set the perfect addition to your brush collection. And they do retail for $29.99. And I'm assuming that's for the both of them together, not individually. So for blush, I am going to apply this blush right here. It's kind of like a brown, pinky, mauve looking tone right here and again super pigmented just like all the rest of the shadows in this palette and it's called majestic so i'm going to dip into that lightly 
at that. And then a smile. And oh wow. I feel like I have a lot of blush on right now. So I'm just gonna go back with that. Um, this is the powder brush that I use for my bronzer and just kind of blend that out a little. You have to be careful because it's like I said, super pigmented and too much, you're gonna mess up. So now I'm just gonna set my face real quick and then we can go into highlight. So the first thing I'm gonna use is the brightener in the middle of the palette right here. And I'm gonna put that on first with this brush. I was not crazy about this blush, uh, this brush. It moves around a little too much for me, like like that. But I am gonna use it again, just for the brightener. And it gives a little glow. I just feel like this brush just moves around way too much for me. I feel like a fan brush is a little bit more like easier to handle than this. And then I'm just gonna highlight on top of that and I'm gonna use this highlight right here and this one is called Twilight. And I do like the way that the highlight sits on top of this brightener. I feel like that helps it a lot. And already I can tell you guys that this makeup look is definitely turning out way better than it did the first time. So I'm going to take some of that brightener, put it on my nose, just a little bit. Keep it slow and down the middle. And then I'm going to go into the highlight shade and set that right on top. Next is lip. I'm going to take this glossy lip off. We have another, this is the Ofra Lip Liquid um, Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks. I did receive an Ofra Liquid Lipstick in a previous BoxyCharm box. I love the formula of it, but I wasn't crazy about the color. This one, um, it's an okay shade. It wasn't looking too good with my original look, but hopefully it'll look good with today's look. So let's see. It does say that you're supposed to apply it without applying lip liner. I did apply lip liner last time, so we'll see if there's a difference between lip liner or not using lip liner. I think it's a nice shade, just I don't know what look would be suitable for this lip for me. Maybe just like a nude eye or something. So let me tell you guys a little bit about the lip. So it's a long lasting liquid lipstick. A one-step full lip color that does not feather. These vibrant colors will give you a vivacious new look. They are creamy and soft in texture, moisturizing to the lips, and create a long-lasting lipstick effect. No need to use lip liner. This liquid lipstick gives a beautiful edge to your lip look, and it retails for $20. The last and final product is something that I did not use last time. I still haven't used it, but I'll make time to use it today, and that is this Wonder Beauty Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. This retails for $34. On here it says that it just contains a blend of skin. Okay, it has a whole bunch of ingredients, but ingredients in which I cannot say half of them. But it's supposed to um, purify and replenish your dull skin. It's supposed to access the oil and impurities and draw them out and, and absorb them with the clay. It's supposed to minimize the appearance of enlarged pores. It says this rose gold skin saving peel off mask dries quickly and peels off effortlessly revealing a smoother, clearer, and brighter complexion. And again, it retails for $34. So I did not try it before, I haven't tried it now, but I promise I will do it today um, once I take all of this off later and I will do an updated review on this in the next BoxyCharm video for next month. So that is all five of the products that came with this month's box. I think the thing, the product that I like the most is this motor brush right here, the powder brush. I just really, really love it for bronzing and I think I will continue to use this for bronzer. And I might even try it for powder, you know, once I clean it. 
not really a fan of this highlight brush so either i just use it in the future just to wipe away my bake or something or my powder or just not use it at all that'll probably be what that's used for the lipstick of course again beautiful shade just not sure i'm crazy about it with this eye color or even the eye look that i did last time so maybe more of like a nude eye or naked eye it's a good lip to just on and the fact you don't have to use lip liner is also a plus this palette right here uh, definitely not what I expected it to be I was really hyped for this palette but it's not what I expected it's not a bad palette though I would still use the contour shade and everything else like that that I used I would use everything probably except for that finishing powder I can't really open it again sometimes that's the thing with these palettes they're hard to open but probably would use all of these again just not this one this this will be the only shade that i probably won't use it definitely does not look like a finishing powder uh, my palette is in medium to deep just in case i didn't say so so i'm glad i got that one instead of the light to medium because i feel like these shades complement my face definitely a whole lot better and my skin tone and then again the final product the wonder beauty if you want to know how i like this peel off mask then definitely subscribe and make sure you stay tuned for april's boxycharm video review and unboxing and i will throw this in there well that's everything that i have i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up before you go make sure you subscribe to my channel bell notification on and i'll see you guys in the next video or vlog whichever one comes first